Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning from Lahore. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokka, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As I've started the series of lecture on drowning, and this is the second lecture of this series. And the learning objective of this lecture will be that I'll be discussing what is the mechanism and process of drowning. Now, starting with the lecture of today's series, Mechanism of Drowning. There is a natural buoyancy in our body that the body weight is made up of 75% water roughly and 5% of the fat. And fat is also lighter than the water having the specific gravity less than 1.92. And thus the major portion of body has a natural tendency to float. This is known as natural buoyancy. Uchal in Urdu we say, Pani ki uchal. There is natural tendency to buoyancy, natural buoyancy. So what happens in the process of drowning? When a non-swimmer falls into water, he sinks partly because of the force of fall and partly owing to the weight of the body, because of the weight of the body. So when a person jumps into water, two forces act. First, the weight of the body, and second is the force of the fall. And person then after the fall, first rises to the surface with natural buoyancy. And also due to some trapped air within his clothes. Then because of also there is some struggling movement. So this also helps in coming to the surface. So two forces which act in downward direction that is weight of the body and the force of fall. Whereas the natural tendency of buoyancy, trapped air and the struggle of Struggling movements helps the individual to rise up to the surface. And on coming to the surface, again, he violently attempts to breathe and shouts, may shouts for some help. And some of the inhaled air is now replaced with the lungs. There is inhalation of air and also with some water. So, with these violent efforts, air is also inhaled, but some water also passes into the mouth. And some of it is aspirated into the respiratory passage, which is, and some is swallowed into the stomach. There is violent coughing due to aspiration of the water because it is irritant, it is, uh, irritating the mucosa and there's violent coughing. And some of the air is expelled because of cough from the lungs and this is replaced by the water, water which is drawn in to the lungs. So this coughing cough out the air and inhales the water more into the lungs. Now the specific gravity of the body will be start rising more than one and now the body will start sinking down below the surface once again. Then irregular movements of the limbs once again bring the body to the surface. And it may again sink due to inhalation of more water. So this happens again and again, that violent efforts, body movements bring the body up inhales air and some water and again sinks down and this again and again happens and then the person finally sinks to the bottom. And by this time, the consciousness is also lost and the person may flounder aimlessly in water. He is disoriented and this happens because of his vestibular disturbances loss of sense of direction and hemorrhage in the tympanum. 
so he gets disoriented and this hemorrhage is due to increased pressure of the surrounding water so the person will now drown and sink down so this was all about the process of drowning and process of sinking in thank you very much i'll continue the topic in the next series of this lecture please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lectures on